please introduce Lisa Rodi, a special education and instructional support manager at Michigan Virtual. Uh, Lisa oversees a lot of the online teachers at Michigan Virtual and has a particular focus and knowledge of ensuring special education students have the appropriate accommodations to be fully supported in there. Hi, Lisa. How are you? Hey, great. Thanks for coming on with us. A lot of students and teachers last year had to go online for the first time. A lot of students with special needs as well. Uh, we forget about that situation. What extra considerations do you have to do when kids with, with special needs are doing online work? You know, I think it's really important for the students to have a support person, both at home and at school, to work with them and with their online instructor to kind of form a partnership to support their learning. Um, it's really important that schools think through the kind of accommodations that they've written for students and think about how those items might translate to an online environment and really an understanding of the type of learning that they're going to do. Will the teacher be lecturing live? Will it be asynchronous? Just having really clear expectations about what to, yeah. what's going to happen. Well, when you talk about what type of, of learning, it occurs to me that one thing about online learning, you know, that has exercises and things like that that you can reference or pull up, is you can go back and do it again. Uh, if you didn't yeah. get it right the first time, you go back and do it again. Mm -hmm. Unlike in a classroom when a teacher has moved on from the subject, you might be sitting in the back and you didn't quite get it, but the rest of the class okay. seemingly did, so the teacher has moved on. So does online actually, for kids with special needs, maybe offer an advantage? You know, I think so. Um, uh, like you just said, the materials are there forever. Students can go back and look at stuff again. They can replay the lectures. They can you know, take a look at uh, things that they've done previously and kind of refresh themselves before a quiz or a test. Um, and they have a lot of um, things that they would be, you know, doing face-to-face -face built into the online environment. Their extra test time, you know, the calculator, um, doing things individually. Um, and for kids that struggle socially, it's a real benefit to be able to dive in and talk to classmates and to their instructor without really any true risk. Yeah. Can you give me an example of the kind of a student who might really benefit from this uh, online learning experience? Sure. I mean, I think students who are super motivated to work on their own or are interested in, in moving along at their own pace. Um, student, that student who struggles socially, um, I think that is a great, you know, option for them. Um, students who have health concerns or, you know, students who have really challenging schedules. Maybe they need some extra time or they want to stretch it out over a longer period of time. Online is perfect for all of those situations. Well, that's great. Thank you for what you do, Lisa. Uh, hats off to you and especially working with the special education kids. That's, uh, that's, that's God's work, and uh, we really appreciate it. Thanks for coming on with us. Thank you so much.